in this video lecture we are going to see the theorems which are called circle theorems which will be used in equations of circle all these theorem in which right angle triangle is involved the first one is a circle with center this is the diameter and this diameter makes an angle 90 degree over here this is 90 degree angle and this is called the angle in a semicircle is a right angle triangle. student remember when you when in, a, when in a right angle triangle this high hypotenuse is the diameter and this is the point at the border of the circle the border is called circumference and the point the 90 degree angle the corner the vertex of this right angle triangle where the 90, 90 degree angle is formed it is on the circumference of the circle and this hypotenuse is the it is the diameter of the circle so in this case the 90 degree angle will be over here and we can say in the in this the similar concept can be expressed in other words like this if there is a right angle triangle right now it is a b c here so then that right angle for that right angle triangle the vertices this vertices, uh, these three vertices will be on the border of the circle. Remember, in any right angle triangle, if we if we draw any right angle triangle, and then we try to fit that right angle triangle into the circle, then then all the corners of that right angle triangle will touch the border of the circle. That is circumference of the circle and the hypotenuse of that right angle triangle with the diameter of the circle and the 90 degree angle will be at the border of the circle so this is called angle in a semicircle because this angle 90 degree it is formed in the this is semicircle this is semicircle and this 90 degree angle is formed into the semicircle so therefore this is called angle in a semicircle and once again if you draw any right angle triangle okay and suppose this is not the right angle triangle here and if you find the if you if you take the midpoint of this the largest side this largest side is called hypotenuse if you find the midpoint of this then you can easily draw a circle that will touch all the three vertices of this right angle point. so if you draw just keep taking this as a center of the circle and this as a dab radius and with the help of compass if you draw a circle that circle will touch the border of the corners of these this right angle triangle Okay, remember it. So this was our first theorem. The second theorem is circle and this line which touches the two points on the circumference of the circle. This line which touches the circle at two points at the border of the circle and border of the circle is called circumference this line is called chord okay if we draw a line from this center of the circle to this this chord such that this line makes 90 degree angle with the chord then this line which makes 90 degree angle this line this line is called perpendicular 
a line which makes 90 degree angle with the second line is called perpendicular so at this perpendicular there is a special special point uh, special characteristic regarding this perpendicular that this perpendicular is passing through the center of the circle in such case this perpendicular divides this chord into two equal parts so a line which divides another line into two equal parts and that line also makes 90 degree angle here as well this line this line this line it is called perpendicular bisector bisector mean it divides this chord this chord into two equal parts and it also makes a 90 degree angle so therefore this line is called perpendicular bisector perpendicular mean it makes 90 degree angle and bisector mean it divides the chord into two equal parts so you have to keep this property this theorem in your mind because all these theorem will be helpful for solving the equation of a circle this property is called the perpendicular this perpendicular is from the center of the circle remember it uh, perpendicular to the center of the uh, of the center of the circle to a chord bisects the chord bisects mean dividing the chord into two equal parts dividing into two equal parts okay look here these two marks these marks these marks are they indicate that this part this part is equal to this part suppose this total chord is 12 centimeter then it will be 6 and 6 centimeter each this was our second theorem. Let's move to the theorem number three. A circle with center and this line, the line which just touches the circle. The line that touches the circle is called tangent line. So this is our tangent line. Tangent line touch the curve touch the curve of the circle it does not cut the circle it just touch the circle at one point a line which touches the circle at one point is called tangent line and this tangent line when we join it with the radius it it always make 90 degree angle okay so this is 90 degree angle so remember a tangent the angle between the tangent line and the radius is always 90 degree this property is called the tangent to a circle at a point is perpendicular and uh, we have just discussed a line which makes 90 degree ang angle with second line it is also called perpendicular line so tangent and the radius are perpendicular to each other this is property number theorem number three and student you have observed in all these three properties these all three properties are about 90 degree the angle over here is 90 degree angle over here is as well 90 degree and this is 90 degree as well so all the three theorems are about the fact that there is a 90 degree angle. when there is a 90 degree angle between the two lines those two lines are called perpendicular to each other 